Hello everybody, today we're doing a video for GTA Car Kits in a 2012 Porsche Cayenne and today we're going to be showing you how to install our Apple CarPlay and Android Auto module. As you can see it's already installed on this car and we have it paired wirelessly to this iPhone and it's playing music and you can control it with the original touch screen and uh, you can also control it with the knobs on the radio and the actual system of the radio nothing gets changed you don't lose any functions and if you want to come back to the original system you just press the navi button and everything stays the same way you don't lose your xm or anything and if you want to go back to carplay it's right here so the tools that you're going to need is a t27 with a ratchet a t20 we're going to be using a screwdriver a panel removal tool a hook also part of panel removal tools flathead screwdriver and a small flathead and we also suggest to use some rags in order not to scratch anything here underneath. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the two vents. So there's five hooks that are holding it. So there's two, two on the lower side, uh, two above here. And there's one at the top. So we're going to start uh, by unhooking the bottom first. And then we're going to use our panel removing, removal tool from the bottom. To kind of pry the vent and it comes off so as you can see these are the clips the trick is to start from the bottom and then usually the top pops off itself once the vent is removed we're gonna unclip there's a connection and you just pull on it there's nothing to press you just use a little bit of force and it will come out so now we're gonna do the other side same thing I'm gonna pop underneath here and remove it. With this connection, you can also use our panel removal tool, kind of press on this little square here. That way it removes easier. Now, once you remove the vents, you're gonna see two bolts on each side. These are the T27 Torx. So we're gonna go ahead and remove them. And why we suggest using a wrench, because they're usually pretty tight. And if you're gonna be using something like this with a screwdriver, uh, there's not enough leverage and you're probably not going to be able to get them off. So we're going to go ahead and remove them right now. So another thing before removing the radio, you're going to see that there's these two plastic pieces on each side of the radio. And when you're putting uh, everything back, you got to make sure to stick these on the vents. So now we're going to turn the car to the accessory position in order to move the shift lever down and we're going to cover this part with a rag and you're going to carefully pull the radio out. So over here we're going to disconnect all the connections. So first we're going to disconnect the main harness which you have a clip here, which you pull out, and that's it. And now you have these. So you press on the clip and try to get something underneath to push it open, just like that. Here we go. Now we're gonna do the ones on this side. Same thing, you try to push it in and remove them and then the last black one here so now that the radio is removed we're gonna go ahead and do an extra step on the table and show you how to put inside the module that is required for everything to work so now that we have the radio out this is the part that we're gonna install we're gonna install this uh, module inside the radio and this is the cable that's gonna come out so we're going to start, the tools you're going to need is a T8 uh, Torx. Then you're going to have the module, these two cables for the monitor. And we're going to show you how to install these spacers too. And to help with the installation, you're going to need flathead screwdriver, some sort of panel removal tool, and a small flathead screwdriver. So we're going to start with using our T8. First, we're going to remove the actual 
screen from the radio and there's four bolts holding it, two on top here. So we're gonna go ahead and remove them. Now we're gonna flip the radio and we're gonna use our flathead screwdriver and we're gonna remove this plastic panel here. So we just gotta undo these two clips and it comes off. Once you do that, you're gonna see two more uh, small bolts here. Again, with T8, we're gonna go ahead and remove them. And all the bolts that we're gonna remove from the radio are exact same in terms of length, but these two are the two short ones compared to the other ones that we're gonna remove. So now we're gonna put the radio down. That's why we have the cloth here. And we have three bolts at the back of the radio, which we're gonna go ahead and remove. So now we're gonna flip the radio to its side. So there's two locks on each side, which you have to unlock. So I'm gonna use a smaller screwdriver here. Okay, we've got this side. So now this has been unlocked, so we're gonna tilt it. So now there's two video cables here, which we have to unplug. So we're gonna use our hook tool and we're gonna hook these white locks. Just like that. And for now we can put the face of the radio away. Now we're gonna get uh, inside the stereo. You're gonna push this part, and it's there's a slots for, for the radio to come out, out of, just like that. And we're gonna remove it. This is the CD part of the stereo. And we're gonna do the same with this cable. We're gonna hook underneath. and move it, move it away for now. Now we're gonna take our module. So the mo module is gonna go like this in this radio. And the two original cables, we're gonna plug in the big and the small here. And then the two cables that come with our kit, we're gonna plug in here and then they're gonna go to the face of the stereo. So in order to mount it, we have to remove three bolts from the stereo. So they are the ones down there. So there's, there's one here, there's one right here. So these we're removing in order to secure the module inside the stereo. And then the third one here. So now we're gonna take our spacers, which we showed you earlier, and we're gonna carefully bolt them in. Once we have them bolted, we're gonna take our module and we're gonna make sure that it lines up with them and it does. So we're gonna take those three screws that we took out and it's kind of tight on space here. So you don't, when you're putting these back, you don't have to really over tighten them. You just lightly tighten them so the module stays in place and doesn't move around. That's it. So now we're gonna take the two original cables and we're gonna plug them in. So when you're plugging them in, you gotta make sure that the locks are unlocked. So we plug it in. And then lock the locks in place. So make sure it's a very good connection. And that they're all the way in. Just like that. So now we're gonna take our two cables. We're gonna plug them in here to the other side. We'll do the big one first. And we're gonna feed it into the opening, just like that. 
again make sure that the lock is open and again we're gonna feed it through and these we're gonna plug in to our face of the radio so now that we have the module installed and the cables routed uh, the next step is to route this uh, cable for the video and as there's no opening here and we're gonna feed it through we're gonna actually unscrew the XM antenna so we're just gonna use our same T8 and you're gonna tilt it and remove it and we're just gonna leave it hanging like this and this way we'll have enough space for our, to feed our wire and we're gonna install it in the car the same way and it's gonna be fine we just don't want to drill anything at the back of the stereo so if you decide to remove it it's like nothing's been changed so we're gonna feed the cable through just like that and you gotta make sure that where you can see the pins that that's facing up and we're gonna carefully plug it in you can also not to lose this little bolt you can screw the bolt back into the hole so now that we have the cable everything is installed the last part we're gonna attach back the CD player with this cable so we're gonna use our hook tool to make sure that the lock inside is open we're gonna push it in and close the lock and now we're gonna attach the top CD player on top of the radio so you're gonna kind of make sure that this wire tucks in there and you're gonna line up the side of the radio with the with the slots here on both sides just like that and you're gonna carefully slide the radio over so now we're gonna take the faceplate and we're gonna install the cables back into it so again you make sure that the locks are unlocked put it in and lock them in place again we're gonna use our tool same with the smaller one, so the lock is unlocked. This one, I'm going to do with my fingers. So now that we connected the two cables, we have to attach the body back to the faceplate of the radio. And first, we're going to uh, line up the radio and attach it to these two hooks. So we're going to kind of tilt it and attach it. And then we're going to slide over the top part, just like that. Make sure it clicks. And now we're gonna put uh, two bolts here. So on this side, there are the two longer ones. And then on the other, at the bottom, it's two shorter ones. So we're gonna go ahead and put these two bolts back. And flip the radio over. So at the bottom of the radio, now you also gotta Touch back this plastic panel that we removed earlier and just snaps on and so now you're left with three last bolts that you have to install back and that's it so now the radio is assembled back and now we have that module which we installed inside so now the only thing is you're gonna see is this cable coming out and like we mentioned earlier, this is the XM antenna and we're just gonna connect it back like that. So now we're gonna use our T20 and we're gonna remove the panel above the panels. That way we're gonna be able to feed the wires through. So there is one bolt right here, just like that. And then simply pull on this panel and it will drop. And this is enough for you to f pull the wires through and this is where we're gonna hide the module up in there. So now we're gonna start doing the connections once we completed working with the radio. So the first one is gonna be, we have to take our harness and we're gonna take the original harness and we're gonna put it in the unlocked position in order to lock it into our harness. This side of the wire, we're gonna feed behind the radio and catch it under the steering wheel. So once we did the harness, next we're gonna connect the auxiliary cable. So there's an auxiliary out on both sides of this harness. 
this is this what we're gonna feed all the way under the steering wheel along with this uh, connection to the fuse box have to feed and catch under the steering wheel so we have the connection to our module and we also need to pull through this is the connection that is gonna go to the fuse box here so now we're gonna remove uh, this cover for the fuse box so we're gonna use our panel tool and when you're putting it back you have to put this edge in first so over here you're gonna see some open slots without any fuses and you gotta choose we're gonna choose the first one here and it's already so there's some completely empty fuses so that's not the correct ones but if you see this one has a little metal piece in there so usually when the, you turn the car on it will get power so this is the one we're gonna connect to just like that and that's it at this point we can put the this fuse cover in back and like I said first we're gonna put that edge in so now we're gonna take our radio and we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna feed this wire to the back and we're gonna catch it underneath and at this point you can start connecting everything back to the back of the radio so first we're gonna take the main harness and with the clip open so once you have it inside you just push it in and then you're gonna lock the clip once it's locked you can do the rest of the connections so on this side these are for your antennas same with these ones once all the connections are done you just have to organize the wires here so they're not in the way when you're putting the radio back in and the main part is this uh, harness right here you have to try to keep it to the left side because there's this space right here that way the radio can go back into its uh, position sitting flash with the dashboard so carefully put the radio in and at this point you can put the four bolts back so now we're gonna wire this cable and we're gonna keep in this keep it in this car right here and this is the USB cable in order for you to connect uh, your mobile phone to the module through the USB cable and we're gonna pull it through the same way we did with the other cables we're gonna drop it in there gonna use our panel removal tool to kind of feed it through and you end up having it here so it's pretty hidden because you don't always have to use it and then if you want to connect a USB cable into it like you have as you see you have this other cable here you can just uh, run it down here and it's pretty makes it pretty hidden so that's why we chose it to wire it there so now we have our module and we're gonna start doing the connection so this is the main harness for power we're gonna plug it in this is the USB one the one that we wired right there so it goes on this side and we already attached the antenna and this is the video cable from the radio and we're gonna pull it pull it to the LCD out connection and now we're gonna connect the microphone so the microphone goes in here so the microphone we're gonna actually keep uh, beside the module we don't want to ruin any look of this car and it's only used to control your Siri or Google Assistant your Bluetooth phone calls and everything still go through the car so at this point you can use some cable ties to make the wires shorter we're gonna be hiding the module underneath uh, the steering wheel here and we're gonna use uh, probably zip ties to attach it to one of the wires so it stays nice and stable here and then we're gonna attach this uh, panel back so we hit the module we put this panel back and the last thing is to put this original screw back so now we're gonna go ahead and start putting the vents back and uh, there's these two pieces of uh, plastic that usually get stuck here 
and it's hard f to put it back when they're still on the radio so we suggest to put it on the actual vent just like that it goes towards the bottom here and then put it in we're gonna go ahead and just snap it back in place and we're gonna do the same for the other side so you're gonna mount this plastic piece towards the bottom and again we're gonna connect this connection and make sure that this wire is not in the way when you're putting it back so the last thing you're gonna do is plug in this auxiliary auxiliary adapter which comes with our kit into the stock auxiliary input so now we're gonna test everything so you're gonna choose the source as auxiliary on the radio we have our apple cable plugged in uh, to the usb socket and we're gonna plug in our phone it's gonna start charging as you can see it's automatically switches to carplay mode but if you want to come back to your original system you just hold the navi button and it goes back so nothing gets changed as you can see or as you can hear the music is playing touch screen is working so everything is working and uh, we also have an extra video to show you how to set up uh, so your apple carplay is wireless and at this point the installation is complete i hope you like the video and we'll see you next time